Do you remember going in your local game shop and there would be games as far back as your eyes could see in every direction? I do, and it was a magnificent, magnificent sight. And that's something we're kind of lacking nowadays. Now, if you were anything like me, when I went to those shops, I didn't know what game I wanted to pick. It was largely dependent on the money I had and what I could find in the shop. And my choice of game, I spent ages looking round, would be mostly based on what I could afford and what the back cover of that game looked like and how much it appealed. Obviously system specifications and the like. But I would come out of those shops with maybe one, two, maybe an array of games and get home and be massively excited to try them out to see what these games were like and sometimes they were crap and sometimes it was the best game I've ever seen. So you try and recreate that feeling. I thought it'd be a good idea to go onto Cytronic Software and order a brand new Commodore 64 game based on nothing more than the screenshots on the website. Then get it and see what it's like. So that's what I've done with this game called Darkness. Look, it's on a tape and everything. How exciting! So let's take a look and see what this is like. So here we have Darkness, published by Cytronic Software, Commodore 64 slash 128 tape. You can get discs as well. You can get a whole wealth of games on disc or tape from their website, which I'll put a link to below. But this game just appealed to me. The screenshots just looked intriguing. It looked like, like a, a massive game of intrigue and mystery. Of course, the screenshots on the back are Commodore 64 screenshots, but back in the day, we probably wouldn't have been treated to such delights. Um, here's an example. This is a compilation, and this is a Spectrum compilation, but as you can see, the screenshots weren't always from the system you were buying for. They tended to put screenshots of the best looking games on the back. So this is obviously the Amiga version. And then they'd use the same box for all the different platforms. So it was a bit hit and miss as to what you were getting. But with this, we have the proper screenshots. Let's take it out of the box and read what we have here. Into darkness I must go to find my beloved taken from me. The jungle deep, the rivers flow. What lies ahead I cannot see. Into darkness I must go, this jungle has a thousand eyes. Without a gun or deadly bow, I wander under angry skies. Adventurous Stan, 6th of November, 1937. Inside we have the tape in all its glory, look at that. Pristine tape. Oh yes. Cytronic written over there, we've got programming. Akim Volker's design, Trevor Story music, Linus tape mastering, Richard Bayliss. Now, yeah, I don't know anything about this game other than what I've seen, and that's part of the fun, discovering exactly what this is about. Insert the tape and press shift and run stop. Let's read the story. While flying over the heart of Africa, adventurous Stan and his beloved Megan are caught in a violent storm and their plane is forced down. When Stan awakes, he notices Megan has gone. Footprints led away into the darkness of the jungle. Stan sets off to rescue Megan. Into darkness, he must go. The object of the game is to fight your way through the jungle and temples to find Megan. Collect keys and masks and weapons to aid you on your quest. Controls, move Stan with a joystick and press fire to attack enemies. To use the keys and masks, simply touch a lock or mask hole. So there we go. And you can see it looks like it's in the style of a Saber Wolf style game. And it really kind of sparks the imagination. I love grand, epic adventure games like this. They really feel, they just connect with me. They feel like I can get involved in them. So let's fire this up and see what it's like. So day, in we go. Deepest, darkest Africa, 1937. There's a plane. Oh, that music is moody, I like it. Oh! All right, let's begin. A game by Trevor Story and Akmim Volkers. 
Okay, so left, right, up, down. We've got fire on the top. Let's go. Graphics are, ooh, hello. Where'd you spawn from? Some nice graphics, haven't we? Nice use of color. Nice use of music and sound. Got some flames going on there. Oh, very nice touches. Oh, hello, we've got some spawning enemies. This jungle is perilous. But if you go off the screen and come back, the enemies respawn in different places, which is quite handy. It's probably not handy if you... Oh, I'm dead! I am dead. I'm using a Archer joystick here. Now, most people might recognise this as a quick shot joystick, but this has been rebranded. And it's very nice movement, actually. Very... No clicks, but... Very precise control. Now for me, the first few minutes of a game were always the most exciting. Just getting the game home and having that rush of being able to play something new and being occupied. Possibly missing your dinner as a consequence. But I am liking this so far. I reckon this could entertain me for quite a while yet. It's always good when you get a game which you know is going to last a while. And provide value for money, having spent your precious Precious pocket money. Oh, I'm going. I've got. I've got a speed up. I'm going super quick. I'm um, slow again. And this game feels expansive. I don't. I didn't. I'm not too happy about killing all these animals, but you know, they seem to be able to get me. So, oh, nice color on here. I like that. Oh, hello. What's in there? I need a key to get in there. Don't I? There's a key. Yellow key. Okay. We need to find the yellow key, mate. Alright, we've got a green mask. So that is Darkness for the Commodore 64 from Cytronic Software. I just wanted to share these first fleeting few moments of a brand new game arriving and recreate just the excitement that that brings. Uh, just the unknown element of what the game's like and the game it appears to be pretty good. I'm going to play it further, see how I get on. It's available as a free download on the site. I'll put a link below if you want to have a go, or you can buy it like this. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.